I am Anil Kumar and here is an example of application of quadratic equation. The question is, the population of a Canadian city is modeled by P of t equals to 12t square plus 800t plus 40,000, where t is the time in years. When t equals to 0, the year is 2007. In what year is the population predicted to be 300,000? So that means we know the final population and we need to find time t. So the formula is p of t equals to 12t square plus 800t plus 40,000, right? So that is the equation which represents population of a city. When time 0 means the year was 2007, when time was t was 0, that means in 2007, the population was 40,000. Now we want to know in which year the population will be 300,000 if the growth rate is kind of same. Okay, so let's substitute 300,000 with 4p of t. So what do we get? We get 300,000 equals to 12t square plus 800t plus 40,000, right? Now we can bring it to the right side, so we get 0 equals to 12t square plus 800t plus 40,000 minus 300,000, right? So it's good to write like this. So we have 12t square plus 800t, and how much do we get this? 260,000, use calculator. 300 thousand minus forty thousand right I recommend you to use calculator with the negative sign right minus two sixty thousand right? now we can actually simplify we can divide all by twelve and then see what do we get dividing by twelve that's a fraction so let's avoid it okay um, we could simplify it a bit we could at least divide by four so let's divide by 4. Let's take 4 common. So if I take 4 common, I get 3t square plus 200 minus 4. 6 times is 24. 20 is 5. 65,000. Okay. Now, to solve this, it is good to use quadratic formula, right? So we know what the quadratic formula is. To find the value, this time it is t. The quadratic formula will be minus p plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Now here, a is equals to 3 for us, b is equals to 200, and c is equals to minus 65,000. Okay, so let's apply this formula and find the value of t. So what do we get here is t equals to minus of b which is minus 200 plus minus square of 200 minus 4 times 3 which is a times minus 65,000 over the square root divided by 2 times 3 right 2 times 3 correct and this value should be positive otherwise uh, we can't get a real answer right so let's find what is the value of this so we'll do square root and within square root 200 square 200 square minus and now minus and minus becomes plus so let me write plus 4 times 3 times 65 1 2 3 equals to so that gives us 905.53 right so so from here we'll subtract minus 200. So we'll do minus 200. That gives us 705.53. And we'll divide that by 6 times to 12. So we'll divide it by 12. And that gives us 58.79. So that gives us 58.79, right? So T for us is 58.79. So we can say... Well, after 58.79 years, that means after 59 years, right? So after 59 years, let's say T is 59. 
Now t is 0 and 2007, so the year should be, so the year should be equal to 200, 2007 plus 59, right? That is the answer, right? So it is 20, 60, Six, right so if you add six here 66 so 2066 is the year so in the year 2066 so it says in what year is the population predicted to be 300,000 we can say well definitely in the year 2066 it will be 300,000 a bit more than that so that is our answer and this is how you need to do it remember the time is time from 2007 and the question is you need to write the year so don't forget to add your answer to the year 2007 so that could be a mistake take care thank you and all the best